everybody, I'm Lubin Fruit, and in this video I'm gonna show you every single storyline quest for Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 2. In case you guys do not know, these things have an order to them because you, you have to start with the boot camp like a uh, quest, and then you're gonna go to the rebuilding quest, and then you go to resistance quest, and so on and so forth. So these are gonna be like the entire chapter, the entire season's quest, from uh from quest number one all the way to the last quest. They will be organized, they will be timestamped. As you can see, I've already like completed mine, they will be right here. And yeah, this took a while to make, so I'd love if you guys like, uh, like drop a like and subscribe, you know, do all the cool YouTube stuff. And yeah, without further ado, here are all the uh, storyline quests of Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 2. For Stage 1 of the Bootcamp quest, essentially you have to use uh, the tactical sprinting. So basically, uh, you need to bind it first in your settings. Just go to your settings right here. Just go to uh, keyboard controls, go to sprint, and just put any uh, key, uh, like key bind, I guess, that you are comfortable with. I use left shift right here, and then whenever I press left shift, I can literally tactical sprint like this. There it is. And yeah, that's it. That's stage one of the bootcamp quest. For stage two of the bootcamp quest, it's just you have to complete the mantling bootcamp. So basically, you just need to uh, mantle on top of a, uh, like, I guess, a wall three times. So to mantle, you need to sprint first. And then you just get close to a wall and you just do this. That's one out of three, as you can see. I'm going to do it again. And hop. That's two out of three. And I'm gonna do it once more. And hop. Oh, and that's three out of three. Beautiful. This can get Very you easy. Out of trouble or into trouble. For stage three of the uh, bootcamp quest, it says you have to complete the sliding bootcamp. And it uh, it's, uh, asks you to run. Uh, running, press left control to slide. Slide for 20 meters. So basically, you just need to slide. You, uh, For me, it's left control to slide like this. And I just need to do that for 20 meters. So basically, you just go on top of the hill. And you just slide like this. And there it is. <laughs> as simple as that. Has a brand new recharging Beautiful. It'll keep so that's completed. There it is. is nice. So once you complete all three stages of the bootcamp, you will unlock this automatically. The first stage of the rebuilding quest. And basically the first stage is going to be to establish a device uplink near Condo Canyon, Coney Crossroads or Command uh, 7 or whatever. So we're just going to go to this location right here. There's three of them. We're going to go to this one right over here. So just make your way to that spot. Hopefully nobody interrupts us. I'm just gonna use this car. Man, I love the design on it. <laughs> it's camouflaged. Alright, here we are. This should be the uplink. I'm pretty sure. Yep, there it is. Once you complete stage one, there's gonna be stage two, which is to uh, retrieve three IO envelopes. And the first envelope is gonna be right next to the uplink. So the uplink was here. And the first envelope is gonna be right here at Coney Crossroads. So just step uh, step to the left and you will find it. All right, so this is the uplink right here. We're just gonna interact with it. Location number two for the envelope is gonna be all the way over here. There's gonna be a little tower right over here, right behind this like house right here. So just make your way over there and you'll find the second envelope. So here it is, as you can see. Just interact with it. Keep going. That's two. Out of Station number three is going to be in Rocky Reels. Here we are. Whoa, there's a lot of them all around. Okay, so we're just going to go to the one right here. Just following the icon. Just trying to avoid, just trying to avoid the guy in the tank. <laughs> All right, here we are. There it is. So that's three out of two. Beautiful. That's the quest complete. For this rebuilding quest, uh, for stage one, it says you have to establish a device uplink near Sanctuary 7 Outpost 2 or Synapse Station. So we're just going to go to the 7 Outpost right here because it's a far away spot and nobody's going to bother us here. So let me ping it on the map. This is the location right here. All right, here we go. There should be an uplink thingy right over here. There it is. It's the blue pad right here. So this is what an uplink looks like. Step on it. Nice. That unlocks stage two. Beautiful. For stage two of the rebuilding quest, it says you have to destroy seven computers uh, and machinery to collect drop data uh, ships. So basically, we're just going to go to several locations. We're going to start with this one right here, since we are already in this like location. So there should be some stuff that we can destroy. I don't think we can just yeah, we can do there it is. Okay. <laughs> so this is a data ship. Nice. So that's one. I believe you can do this in the same PY. We're gonna try that. Just 
to confirm my theory. Otherwise, we're gonna have to go to another POI. Ah, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to go to another POI. So the second POI is gonna be this one right here. We'll use these rifts. And we'll make our way to the POI. Alright, here we are. So this is the second seven outpost. So I'm just gonna make our way to the same uh, to the same spot where we destroyed the other thing. Here we go. Let's just destroy this. There it is. That's the second data chip. And then we'll make our way to another outpost, which is this one right here, right behind Greasy Grove. It's gonna be in zone, but I think uh, we can make it. Like we should be able to make it with the uh, like if we if we like use the rifts. Here we go. We made it to the outpost without dying, which is an achievement <laughs> in itself. So uh, like I said, this is the location right here. We went to all these three locations for the data chips. You can go to these as well, right next to the sanctuary because they're closer to each other. All right, here we go. All right, here we are. I'm just gonna destroy this thing right here. And that's the third chip. Collect data chip. Beautiful. That's, That's completed. Will be back in no time. Very cool. For this rebuilding quest, so for stage one, it says you have to establish the vice uplink near Karen Cuddle, Chonker Speedway, or the Daily Bugle. So I'm just gonna make our way to Chonker Speedway right here. Just make your way to this spot, and there should be an uplink right outside the PUI or right next to it. So an uplink is just a hologram, in case you don't know. It's gonna be like a blue hologram that you can see. There it is right here. You just step on it. Beautiful. So that's stage one, and that unlocks stage two. For the next stage, it says you have to find and destroy a cloaked IO build jammer. So, for example, there's this one right over here at this location. There's a bunch of them on the map, and you can uh, tell where they are by the uh, by the icon on the map. So there it is. It appears when you get closer to it, and we just destroy it. And there it is. It's as simple as that. Uh, one. Okay. <laughs> we need to wait for her to speak. And then I can keep uh, let, t telling you. Okay, okay, sure. Uh, this is one location right here. Uh, the other uh, location that you can find as well is literally right here in the Daily Bugle. Uh, but yeah, like I said, there's a lot of them around the map. You just go around, and whenever you see a like um, a dish, like a dish icon in the on the map, that is the icon for a new dish. And you, whenever you get close to it, it will reveal itself. Just destroy it and that shoot with the quest. After completing the rebuilding quests, the next like batch of storyline quests will be unlocked, which are called the resistance quests. And the first one is gonna have two stages. For first stage, it says that you have to establish device uplink near a seven outpost. So go to any of the seven seven outposts all around the map. Uh, actually, there's six. The middle one was destroyed. So just go right here. You can go to any uh, any of these, of course. It doesn't have to be this one. And once you do, there should be an, uh, an uplink thingy right next to it. I think I see it. Yep, there it is, right there. So there it is, right underneath me. It's a hologram that you step on. And there it is. So that completes stage one and gives us stage two. For stage two, it says that you have to visit seven outposts. Uh, so you need to visit three of the seven outposts. So uh, we're already at this one because we like uh, the, did the link thingy next to the outpost. So this automatically counts if you like go around the outpost itself. So that counts as one out of three. Next, we're going to go to this one right here. Uh, make sure you to use the, um, um, the rifts. That's the easiest way to do this, of course. Let me grab this bounty. All right, we'll grab this and let's go. Here we go. Like I said, keep using these rifts. So the next location is going to be that uh, seven outpost. So here we go. All right, here we are. There it is. That's two out of three. Then we use the next rifts right here. And make our way to the third outpost, which is this one right over here. Right behind Kondo Canyon. Here we are. And up. Okay, here we are at the third outpost right here. That was relatively easy. We used the blimp to come trustworthy. here. All right, so that's uh, uh, all like both stages completed. Beautiful. For the next resistance quest, essentially you have to establish uh, uh, the, the uplink near log jump number yard, rocky reels, or tilted towers. I highly recommend doing this in um, in uh, log jump number yard because you're gonna have to go here, here, and then ro to rocky reels. So you better start here. Uh, basically, you just go to the uplink. 
as usual, you find the hologram, which should be right around here. There it is, right there. It's right on top of this hill. So let me just ping it correctly. Just so we don't get lost. It's right over here. So step on it. That completes stage 1. For stage 2, it says you have to deploy sensors at Logjam, Tilted Towers and Rocky Reels. That's why I said you should start here. So we're going to start here. And in each location, we're going to deploy one uh, signal jammer or whatever it's called. What it's called? It's sensor. <laughs> deploy sensor. So the first one is right on the edge of this lake. I don't have any weapons, so I really hope nobody shoots me. And I can't even build if they do. So it's going to be right here. Let me ping it on the map. It's right over here. And there it is. Let's take a screenshot of this. I'm going to need it <laughs> for the thumbnail. Here we go. So that's one out of three. Then we're going to make our way to Tilted Towers. We'll go right here next to the gas station. So here we are at location number two. It's going to be right near the gas station, like I said. Whoa. Gonna need this. <laughs> so we're going to need to keep it. Here we are. It's right on top of this hill. Nice. Beautiful. Next, we're going to go to the third location, which is going to be right over here at the uh, Rocky Reels. We'll go right over here. All right, here we are at Rocky Reels. And this is one of the locations that you can uh, like put the deploy sensor in. So let me ping it on the map. It's right over here. So you can go here or you can go here. Both uh, will work. We'll just deploy this. And there it is. Beautiful. Stage 2 out of 2 completed. For this resistance quest, it says you have to establish device uplink near a 7 outpost. So you can go to e any of these locations, but I highly recommend going to this one right here. Uh, because the next stage is gonna, you're gonna have to be near one of these like airships, the IO airships, which is this right here near the daily bugle. So basically just go to this one right here. And of course we're gonna activate the uplink hologram thingy as usual. So it should be shining. There it is right there. And then we're just going to use the rift to go to the airship. And I'm going to show you what to do. Alright, here we are. Nice. That's stage 1 out of 2. Looks like the imagined order DOD so, for stage 2, it says that you have to plant a data scraper at the tail of an IO, uh, IO airship. So we're going to use the rifts. We're going to use this rift right here. And we're going to make our way to this location right here, to the uh, airship itself. You need to go to the tail of the airship. Let's grab this bounty while we're here. Alright. And then we're just going to float our way there. And of course we're going to use the zipline. This is just gets us really close to the airship. Okay. Hopefully not a lot of people are here. We just need to sneak our way to the uh, to the back. Oh, I see a zipline. Okay, we can do this here. So, you just go up, not down. And there should be a scraper here, data scraper. So there it is right there. So this is it. So this is the tail of the airship. This is the data scraper. I almost fell. <laughs> and we did that. And yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. That's stage two out of two completed. Beautiful. For week two's resistance quests, the first one is to establish a an uplink uh, near Condo Canyon, uh, Pony Crossroads, or the uh, Daily Bugle. So we're gonna go to the Daily Bugle right over here. Actually, let me, let me, <laughs> come on, let me hit the map. Oh, it's not gonna let me. So I'm just gonna go right over here. So let me ping it on the map again. Just go to this spot right here. As you can see, there's a signal sign, and basically you're gonna find the hologram right over there. I'm gonna try my best not to die here. So uh, just by stepping on the hologram, we'll unlock stage two. Here we are. So there's the hologram right over there, right next to the zipline. There it is, beautiful. So that unlocks stage two. For stage two, it says that you have to recover the missing battle bus plans. So that's just one. As you can see, you can go to any of the three locations. We'll go to the Daily Bugle since we started here. And if you go, uh, if you look in, on the map right here, you'll see like a, an exclamation mark. And that is the exact location for the uh, uh, for the schematics. So we're just gonna make our way over there. And hop. We'll try our best not to die. There we are. So these are the schematics. Recover battle bus plan. Beautiful. So that's complete stage two out of two. Nice. 
For the next week, two resistant quests. So you have to establish device uplink near a seven outpost. So just make your way to any of these seven outposts right over here. We'll go to this one right here. And as you can see, there's the hologram right over there. So I'm just going to ping the exact location just so you know where it is. This is it right here. And we'll just stand on it as usual. And that unlocks stage two out of two. We want to study the new ballistic resistant alloy. All right. So for stage two out of two, it says to damage a tank to collect armor samples. That's very simple. I just saw a tank right over here. So as I was coming here, there was a tank uh, walking on this road right here. So just follow that road and you should be able to find the tank. All right, there it is right here. As you can see, it's pretty close. So I'm just going to damage it, collect the armor sample. There's the armor sample right there. We killed the guy at the top. Ooh, he's driving. So this is the armor sample right here. As you can see, grab it, collect armor sample. Sorry, buddy. He's dead. And there is the second armor sample right over here. Let me collect all of this so we can make a good screenshot of this. <laughs> Let me just remove this right here. And armor sample. Okay. Beautiful. So just collect that. And there it is. That's two out of two. In case you don't find this tank right here, uh, there's a bunch of locations. I already uploaded a video on every like tank location in the game. Uh, but basically, just make your way to Tilted Towers, make your way to Rocky Wheels, uh, there, make your way to the Fortress or the Orc Command Cavern. You'll find tanks all over these POIs. So just make your way to any of those POIs and you'll find one of these tanks. Like, uh, like you saw me do, just deal damage to it and two armor plates should pop up. And yeah, just collect them and that should complete the quest. Beautiful. For the next week, two resistant quests is you have to establish device uplink near Command Cavern. So just make your way to this location right over here. And trust me, you want to be right on this location because stage two out of two, uh, for, for that stage, you need to be as close to the giant drill as possible. So we're just going to land over here. We're just going to take some weapons because we're going to need them. So there's a hologram right over there. This guy is doing the same uh, quest. We'll take this. And because I think he's going to be a competition, I'm sorry, buddy, but I'm going to have to eliminate you. Hey. Okay, he ran away. <laughs> All right, so just gonna grab this, and the next uh, like stage for stage two out of two, it says you have to deliver a tank, as you can see, deliver a tank to seven outposts. So you need to grab a tank from any location and deliver it to any of these seven outposts. And yeah, so basically we're gonna go take this tank right here from the fortress. Here we go. All right, here we are. There's the tank inside. We're just gonna grab this. And we're gonna zoom out of, uh, zoom out of here. Sorry, buddy. I'm just gonna leg it. <laughs> I'm gonna use everything you have. So basically, you just grab the tank and you bring it to the closest uh, seven py or seven outposts. So these are the seven outposts right here. Um, let me go to them right here. Come on, come on, come on. There they are. These are the ones. And basically, you just need to grab any tank from any location. We're going to go to this one right here, the closest one to us. And uh, I already made a video on all the tank locations. If you don't find this tank right here, you can find one at Rocky Reels, one at Tilted Towers. You can find one at Command Cavern. Uh, so there's a lot of them all around. And once you find one, you just make your way to the closest, uh, like, uh, seventh outpost. We're going to go to that one right there. We're going to deliver this all the way over there. All right, here we are. So this is the seven outpost right uh, on the other side. Uh, also, make sure not to use any uh, boost, and, uh, except for the first one, the first time when you grab the tank to run away. Uh, because if you use the boost, as you can see, it goes through the fuel super, super fast. But yeah, that's basically it. This is what you need to do. It's as simple as this. <laughs> Beautiful. So that's stage two out of two completed. For the last quest of week two's resistance quest, it says you have to establish device uplink near the central gas station, which is this gas station right here. So just make your way to this spot right over here. And this is the central gas station. Uh, basically, this one, like the last batch of quests, is going to be all car-related. Car so uh, try to follow this guide as much as you can. And whenever you see a car, just make sure you spot it. So this is the uplink right here. I'll, uh, I'll ping it right over here. So we're just going to unlock stage 2. Stage 2 is very simple. All you have to do is just um, right here. Refuel a vehicle 50. So we're going to refuel one of these vehicles. We'll grab this one right here because this one goes very very well off road. And hop. We'll refuel it.
to drive. And there it is. Thanks for doing this. So that's 50. That unlocks the next stage. Drive in a car or truck without going off-road for 500 meters. So you need to follow these steps exactly. First, we're going to uh, see if we can find some tires because those uh, those really help. Let's see. Do I get anything from here? Nope. Okay. Screw the tires. We don't need them. <laughs> so uh, basically, you're going to need to follow this road exactly because uh, uh, like the next st uh, step for the next stage, you need to be uh, right around this area. So we're going to follow this road right over here and make our way to Behemoth Bridge right here. So we'll use this car right here. All right, let's go. So basically just drive inside the road. Uh, you're basically teaching Peely how to drive. So to teach somebody how to drive, maybe stay on the road. <laughs> that's like, I don't know, that's advice number one or tip number one. So just drive as if you were driving like in real life, very safely, very cautiously. Just try to follow the road as much as you can. Let's not make any accidents. There we go. Beautiful, perfect. We are literally teaching a banana how to drive. Okay, just gonna follow the road. Nice. So the next one is to cross Behemoth Bridge in a vehicle, which is this. So this is Behemoth Bridge right here. We can cross like through the water, it doesn't really matter. This is why I took this vehicle right here because uh, you can just easily cross through the water and uh, like this one is the best like off-road vehicle you can find. So just gonna make our way to Behemoth Bridge and we just need uh, any vehicle to cross it. Come on, let's go. There it is, right there, beautiful. This is why you should follow this road. If you had went into an opposite road, you would you would have been very far away from Behemoth Bridge, and you would have had like to uh, restart the game or like make your way all over there again. And here we are. I can hear somebody fighting. Hopefully they don't shoot at us. We're a moving target. And here we are. So this is Behemoth Bridge, and we're just gonna cross it with the car. That's very beautiful. Beautiful. So that's stage four out of four completed. Let's go. Let's see it. Yep, there it is. So that's all the uh, week two resistance quest completed, and the tab is uh, gone until week three, of course. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this week three resistance quest. Essentially, you have to establish device uplink to Condor Canyon, Daily Bugle, or to the towers. So you can go to any of these three locations. We're gonna go to Condor Canyon for a very specific reason, and that's because stage two is gonna require us to find ourselves a cow catcher or a armored battle bus. So uh, this is the closest location to uh, like an armored uh, battle bus. So we're just gonna use that. So we should be able to land here on a hologram right around here. Ah, oh, there it is right here. So right next to the bridge leading to the, um, what is that, Kondo Canyon? Yeah. <laughs> so basically you just land on this hologram. And oh, there it is. That unlocks stage two. Very nice. So, stage 2, destroy road barriers using the cow catcher or battle bus. So, we're just going to do that. And how? Clear our path by driving a cow catcher through their tank barriers. I'm going to take this. We're going to go to the uh, to the battle bus location. So, you can either go to, uh, I guess, uh, gas stations to find these, like, cow catchers. Or you, you can find them in floor loot or anywhere else. Or you can just go to the battle bus, the armored battle bus location, which is this right here. And this right here. There are two right now in the game. I hope they're still there. <laughs> I don't think anybody's gonna drive them right now. So we're gonna go right over there. This could take a while. I used the rift. I came here because this is like the closest location that I can uh, think of that will take me to the sanctuary. So we'll go there, we'll grab ourselves a, uh, an armor battle bus. And then of course we're gonna go looking for some uh, barriers to break. I'm gonna show you where you can find them. Oh, somebody took the armor battle bus? Yeah, somebody took it, somebody took it. Okay, we're gonna need to take it from him. Okay, sorry buddy, but I need this, I really do. There it is, okay. Grab this. We have the battle bus. I'm gonna need to fix it first. So the the first location that we're gonna go to is this right here. But of course somebody already took it, and now it's here <laughs> for some reason. So let's do this. We're gonna go to a gas station and fix this right here. So let's go right here. 
Come here, buddy. Yeah, you're okay. You're okay. Sorry for hurting you. I was just trying to scare off the evil dude who had you. Oh, let's see. Do these count as barriers? Uh -huh. Yeah, they do. They do. They do. Okay, so it's as simple as that. So this is what a barrier looks like. Beautiful. So these X's. Let me take a screenshot of this just for the thumbnail. So there's the battle bus. There's the barrier, and we take a screenshot. <laughs> So this is how we make a YouTube screen, a YouTube thumbnail, guys. You just add, then you just add random red arrows, and that's uh, that's pretty much it. So yeah, that's it. Uh, this is the location of the barriers that I just found. These are not like special barriers. You can just find them anywhere on any PUI that has a blimp on top of it. That means that that PUI has IOs inside of it. And yeah, that's it. Uh, so this is the cow catcher right here. This is the armor battle bus, and that's the barrier. Beautiful. For this week 3 uh, resistance quest, essentially you have to establish device link at uh, Chonker Speedway, Command Cavern, or uh, what was the third location? Or the Daily Bugle. Okay, so we're going to go to this location right over here, near Chonker Speedway. So this is the location right on top of this hill. Like usual, we're just going to stand on the hologram, and that should give us stage 2. There we go, so that's the hologram right here. This is the exact location, and just in case you're curious, it's right here. Alright, so let's stand on top of it. Nice, that gives us stage 2. Hit different targets with a sniper rifle. Let's grab that. Okay, so for stage 2, hit different targets with a sniper uh, from at least 75 meters away. Okay, so we need to find ourselves a sniper. Alright, so I just found the sniper right here. So as you can see, you just need a normal sniper from any location. You can find this in floor loot, in chests, in uh, supply drops, anywhere, anywhere really. And basically, you just have to aim for these like locations right here. So, uh, let me just ping the location. It's right over here. So, on top of this mountain. So, as you can see, there's a mountain right there. Let me ping it even more precisely, right over here. So, you will, three the three, uh, you will see the three targets right there. As you can see, one, two, three. And this should be enough, like, distance. Let me see. Yeah, that's 86 meters. It needs to be over 75 meters. So, let's do this. One. Two. And three. Beautiful. There it is. Hit different uh, targets from 75 meters with a sniper rifle. Done. Nice. For this week 3 resistance quest, so you have to establish device uplink near Camp Cattle or the Jonases. So we're just going to go to the Jonases PUI right over here. So we're going to go to that location over there. We'll find the hologram for stage 1 and that should unlock stage 2. So let's make it over there. Come on, come on, come on. You can go to this location or you can go to Camp Cattle by the way. There it is. So there's the hologram right here. You just step on that. Nice. That unlocks stage two. So for stage two, it says you have to destroy structures above a data receiver, then collect its data. So as you can see, these are the locations right here. We're going to go to this one right there. All right. So the data receiver is right over here. Just going to make it uh, all the way over there. The game crashed, so I had to restart it. <laughs> That's why I'm in the air right now. So there should be a data receiver right here. And you just need to destroy the structure on top of it. I don't. Oh, there it is, right here. So this is the receiver right here. Ooh, beautiful, 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 beautiful stuff. So we're just gonna take a screenshot of this, and we just need to destroy the structure on top of the receiver. Makes makes sense. Okay, that should that should do it. Okay, now we can interact with it. Collect a uh, receiver data. Beautiful. We'll do that. And there it is. Nice. <laughs> so that's stage two out of two completed. Beautiful. For this week's three resistance quest, it says you have to establish device uplink near Synapse Station. So just make your way to this location over here. So there are three spots. We'll go to this spot right here, uh, right next to the uh, lake, I suppose. So it's right over here, right here. So there should be a hologram right next to the water. That will unlock like stage two, as usual. Yep, there it is right here, right next to the palm tree. So this is the exact location right here. Okay, so that unlocks stage 2. So, for stage 2, it says you have to use a disguise kit, then place weapon schematics in Synapse Station. So, we're just gonna go to this one right here. That should be the uh, disguise kit. Alright. I'm just gonna use the disguise, apparently, because the origin does not agree with this plan. And hop. Oh, come on, really? Hop.
Hello. Okay, so use this guy's kit. Let's use that. Mm, I wouldn't Ooh. have picked the fake mustache. It looks itchy. But it, you know, it'll work. <laughs> I like this. Drop off those plans. Okay, so the plans will go here, I suppose. Yep, that goes to the Snap Station. That should give us the location. Somebody's already here, I think. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna farm this just in case. Just in case somebody tries to be a hero. You never know. Okay, it should be right around here. There it is, right here. Nice, place weapon schematics. He'll know what to do with these. There it is, beautiful. So that's stage two out of two completed. And we've leveled up. Cool. For this week four resistance quest, it says you have to uh, establish the device uplink at Longsham Lumber Yard. So just make your way to this location right here on the map, right over here. And there should be a hologram right over on my ping. And all we have to do is just step on the hologram to activate stage two. Let's see. Yep, there it is right here. Everybody's already here. And, huh. and that unlocks stage two. For stage two, it says that you have to deploy aquatic communication relays near log jam number yard. So we're going to start with this one right over here in the middle. And it should be in the water. Yep, there it is right here. So as you can see, there it is. So that's one. <laughs> Looks kind of cute. It's on a floaty. And number two is going to be over here, right next to the rock. There we go. And oh. beautiful. And the third one is going to be all the way over here. Man, you can hardly see them. So this one is going to be right next to this gigantic tree. Nice. For this week 4 resistance quest, it says you have to establish a device uplink near a 7 outpost. So we're going to go to this 7 outpost right here. You can do it in any of these 7 outposts right here. So as you can see, there are 6 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We'll go to this one right over here. And there should be a little like hologram thingy. There it is right here. It's right next to the entrance. So we're just going to step on that. And that unlocks stage 2. Nice. For stage 2, it says you have to transmit data to the drone. So there should be a drone on each of these like seven outposts. So we're just going to go to the drone right over here. It should be right here. And we're just going to transmit the data to it. I think I'm going to get a weapon first because somebody is already here. Okay, this should do. Okay, where's this drone? It should be here. Yep, there it is right here. Oh, hey there, buddy. Oh, that looks cute. And, huh? and you disappear. Beautiful. So that's stage 2 out of 2 completed. For this week 4 resistance quest, it says you have to establish device uplink near the sanctuary. So just make your way to the sanctuary PY right here. Just make your way to this spot right over here. And there should be a little hologram as usual. So we're just going to step on that to unlock stage 2. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, I think I already see it. I think I pinged it perfectly. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Nice. Okay, so just go to where I ping, right over here. What is this? What is this? I remember these eggs. Yeah, they give you like um, low gravity. All right. Okay. Okay. That's good to know. Okay. So that we'll deal with that later. <laughs> so there it is. Beautiful. That's stage two. For stage two, it says you have to place anti-tank rounds all around the uh, uh, the sanctuary. So as you can see, there's a bunch of POIs that we're gonna go to. So we're gonna go to this one right. This one right here. This one is closer. So we'll start with that one right there, and we'll place the uh, tank thingy, tank round. All right. And up. Oh my god, I think <laughs> I think I screwed up. Okay, we're going to have to <laughs> go around. <laughs> okay, maybe I should have done this in uh, build mode so I can just build over these hills. And not have to run everywhere. Here we go. So the first tank round is right over here. Let's see what it looks like. You know, not to brag, but before I left nice. Order, okay. I was somewhat of an Next we'll go here. And one thing we were certain of was that they worked as a unified, dedicated group. Huh. 
The Imagine Order still thinks that, but uh, I'm not so certain. Makes me nervous. Okay, so apparently the um, uh, the seven are having some kind of infighting between them. They kind of like don't trust each other. The second anti-tank round should be right around here. Yep, there it is. Hey, hey, be cool, be cool. Oh, okay, there it is. And, huh. and the third one is right here. Oh my god, dude, dude, just chill, chill. There we go. There it is, beautiful. This would make for a nice screenshot. Nice! So that's all three completed. Beautiful. For this resistance quest, since you have to establish a device uplink at the fortress, uh, the uh, new command cavern, or of course loot lake. So we're just gonna go right here to the fortress. So there should be a hologram on top of this hill right here on my ping that we can step on. Yep, there it is right there. So we're just gonna use that to unlock stage two. All right, here we go. And hop. Okay, that unlocks stage two. So, for stage 2, it says you have to plant wiretaps to monitor I.O. communications. So, we're just going to plant the wiretaps. We'll start with this one right here. Alright. <laughs> we'll grab this. Let's see. And... Wiretap. And then we bounce. We don't want to fight. We're not here to fight. Okay, beautiful. And then we'll go to the second location, which is this right here. Or actually, we'll start with the one behind us, because this one seems closer, I think. Mm, nah, we'll go to this one. This one. We're just gonna use the siege cannon, and... Oh! Yeah, that is a long way off, man. Okay, we'll just use this right here. We'll actually use the, um, the uptrack thingy. It's gonna go here. And we'll go up. And uh, come on. We'll use this again. And it should be right underneath us. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna slowly drop. Come on, come on, come on. Show me the wiretap. There it is, right next to the tower. And hop. So that's location number two. And location number three is going to be right here. So I'm just going to make my oh, my way over there. All right, we're back at the fortress. So I'm just going to use the same uh, siege cannon thingy. There we go. So it should be right around here, right next to the tower. Yep, there it is. There it is, beautiful. Plant wired up. We'll nice, that's three out of three locations completed and stage two out of two completed. For this resistance quest, is that you have to establish device uplink near the daily rubble. So daily rubble is literally this right here, the um, it's the crashed uh, uh, airship, the first one. So we're just gonna go to the first one right here. There should be a hologram right over here. So there's the uh, daily rubble thingy. That's the crashed airship. And there should be the hologram, I think next to this island. We'll see. Yep, there it is, right on my ping. Nice, beautiful. Okay, so we're just gonna step on this, and this should unlock stage two. Okay, for stage two, it says we have to recover a data drive uh, from Daily Rubble. So we're just gonna go right here. Just gonna grab a weapon with me. And we're just gonna use this boat and bring the uh the thing the data thingy let's go pillage the, the blimp i guess oh there's a bunch of them okay let's see i guess this one will do hey there buddy so let's see what does it look like oh recover that right beautiful so that's two out of two completed. 
For this resistance quest, we so have to establish device uplink near this sanctuary. So we're just gonna make our way to this spot right here, and there should be a device uplink that we can uh, step on. Here we are. There it is, right there. Okay, we're just gonna step on this. So this should unlock stage two. There it is. So for stage two, it says you have to set up a direct relay with the paradigm near the sanctuary. Just gonna go here. Okay, guess we're gonna call the paradigm. <laughs> Do we even have her number? So it should be right over the hill. Here we are, and this is the relay. Let me take a good screenshot of this, like this. Nice, this is nice. Just do this, like this. Yep. <laughs> and ah, there it is. Beautiful. For this resistance quest, you essentially have to establish device uplink near a seventh outpost. So we're just gonna go to any of these seven outposts. I'm gonna go to the closest one, which is this right here. So here we are. This is the seven outpost, and there should be a hologram thingy right next to this. There it is, right here, right on the beach, right next to the bounty board. In case you're uh, confused, and here we go. So that unlocks stage two. Okay, so for stage two, it says to mark weapons of different rarities to show loopers how to identify them. Okay. All right, here we are. I just got all types of weapons. We got uh, three right here, so I'm just gonna ping them. Just use whatever ping button that you have. I'm gonna ping this one. I'm gonna ping this one. I'm gonna ping this one. So that's three. I'm gonna buy the epic one from here. So that's an epic striker. So let's drop it. And then I'm gonna just ping it. There it is. There it is. Beautiful. So as you can see, that's completed. Nice. For the first stage of this week 6 of this quest, it says you have to establish device uplink near Loot Lake. So we're just gonna go to any of these three locations in Loot Lake. So we're gonna go to the middle of the island. Because that's, I don't know, <laughs> that's better. We'll also find some loot there. So that's even more better. So let's see. What do we have here? There it is. So there's a hologram right there, right behind the rock. So all we have to do is just stand on top of it. And that should give us stage 2. There we go. Beautiful. Alright, so for stage 2, it says you have to set up recon cameras to get more info about the IO Doomsday device. So as you can see, the recon cameras are all around uh, Loot Lake. So we're just going to start with the first location, which is this right here. Place recon camera. As you can see, I've made a couple of friends here. <laughs> I popped this and they, were, they all came here. There we go. I guess we're cool. So we're just going to go to the next locations. Let's see. Let's go. Um, let's go right over here. It should be on the other side. I don't have a weapon, which is a problem, but... oh. Okay, I guess they really were friendly. They didn't even—they didn't even like go for the weapons. Nice. It's good to see like some people are friendly in this game, man. Okay, there we go. So the next location should be right over here. We only need like three cameras. We don't need more than that. There's way more than three cameras. Here we go. Place recon camera. Beautiful. And the next location is right here. So just gonna use the water to get there faster. Here we go. No. Come on. Here we go. There it is. Beautiful. Let's grab that. Face recon camera. Beautiful. That three out of three completed. Nice. For the next week six resistance quest, it's just you have to establish device uplink near Synapse Station. So this is the Synapse Station right here. And we're gonna go to any of these two locations. We're gonna go to this location right here. And that should give us the hologram to start the quest. Here we go. Let's see. Yeah, there it is right there. Right between these two rocks. There we go. We got some friends landing here as well. And we're just gonna grab that. There it is. Beautiful. For stage 2 of this week's 6 resistance quest, it says you have to eliminate IO forces to steal IO credentials. So you just need to eliminate one IO force. And for that, I highly recommend coming right here to the command cavern. Uh, because uh, since... Rocky Reels is not activated yet. You can just come here and you will find an IO Force, as you can see right here. I already got one. Oh, this one has one bullet. Come on. There it is. <laughs> so this is the Collect Credential IO Credential. Let's grab it. 
Beautiful. And yeah, that's the best way to do it in my opinion. Or of course you could go to any of these like battle spots where there's a red like PY and fight the IOs there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Just grab the IO and that should complete the quest. For stage 3 of this week's sex resistance quest, it's here to have deliver IO credentials to the imagined order near the Jonases. So just make your way to the Jonases PUI right there. And you just deliver the IO credential that we just got. Uh, basically, this comes right after completing the second stage, which is, get, which is getting the IO credential by, by defeating one of the IO, or IO forces. So you can do that by going to Rocky Reels or Command Cavern. Just, you know, uh, kill one of the IOs and you'll get a credential from them. And now we're delivering that IO credential right over here. There it is. Deliver IO credentials. Be Beautiful. Really Ooh, we have Brutus. Literally and yeah, there it is. Nice. <laughs> you did a good job. For stage 1 of this uh, week 6 resistance quest is to have the, uh, established a device uplink near Chonker Speedway, Log Jump Lumberyard, or of course uh, this location right here. I forget what the name is. So basically you just go to this, here, here, or here. We're just going to go to this location. And we're going to grab the, uh, the freaking hologram right underneath us. Ooh, I can already see people underneath us. Are those IOs? Yeah, those are IOs. <laughs> I think they're both going to chill. Yeah, they are. I think we can kill them. Okay, so we'll just, we'll just grab this first. Okay, there it is. Beautiful. And then I'm just gonna do this. Oh my god, that's the easiest kill of my life, man. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's stage one. For stage two of this week six resistance quest, this should have to secure insider intel from a dead drop. So we're just gonna go to any of these dead drop locations at these three locations right here. We're gonna go to the one at uh, like Chalker Speedway. If we think it correctly. All right, let's make our way over there. Oh, I think it's, uh, it's already here. It's over the hill, I think. And huh. yeah, there it is. So this is the dead drop. Looks like a supply drop. Search dead drop. All right. We'll and there it is. Nice, beautiful. For the first stage of this week's 6 resistance quest, is to have established device uplink near Command Cavern, the Fortress, or Loot Lake. So we're just gonna go to uh, Command Cavern. We're gonna establish the link right there. So this is the spot right around here. Alright, so we make here. Yeah, let's go, let's make our way over there. I can already see a lot of people landing here. I don't know why Command Cavern is still like that popular. Okay, so the spot should be right behind the uh, the blimp. Like at the uh, at the part right here. Okay, we got some people fighting over here. All right, all right, there it is, right there. So as you can see, there's the tail right here of the blimp, and the hologram is going to be right underneath it. So we're going to grab that. Beautiful. That unlocks stage two. Excellent. For stage two of this week's six resistance quest, essentially you have to set up laser target de designators to help loopers focus fire. So we have three of them all around the map. We have one at the like near command cavern. We have one at the fortress and one between Coney Crossroads and Shifty Shaft Shafts. So we're gonna go uh, one by one. We're gonna start with this one right here. So it should be right over here. Here we go. So this is the designator thingy. Nice. Let's get a nice screenshot of that. And huh. So that's location number one. Let me see. Oh, the target is Command Cavern, dude. <laughs> Alright, so that's location number one. We'll go to location number two now, which is right here with the fortress. We're going to use the blimp. Because that's the fastest way uh, to get there. And hop. We'll use this. Get up here. And we're gonna use this. And we're gonna take the stairs. And hop. Oh, I see something I want, which is the <laughs> the uh, the jetpack. There we go. This will help. And then, of course, we're just gonna make our way over there. There we go. This is the best way to uh, move around. And then we'll basically use the um, the siege cannon on top of the fortress tank. Alright. There we go. Let's see what we have here. Oh, it's over here. 
the second one. And location number three is gonna be right over here. Let's just make a way to this location. The other guy killed me at the fortress, so <laughs> here we are. All right, so this is location number three. It's good to know that you can do this in like separate games, so nobody can really uh, mess with you. You can just do this separately, just land on each location. This guy apparently got killed as well, so just gonna grab that. There we go, deploy, target laser. Beautiful, that's three out of three completed. Nice. For this week four resistance quest, it says you have to establish device uplink at Log Jam Lumber Yard or Chonker Speedway. So we're gonna go to Chonker Speedway right here, and there should be a hologram uh, that we can step on to enable the quest. There it is right here. Sorry about the lag. I'm uploading a lot. So there it is. That's the uh, first stage completed. So it's gonna be right here. For stage two of this week seven resistance quest, it says you have to hack IO loudspeakers. So as you can see, we need to hack three of them. There's five all around the map. There's one, two, three, four, five. So we're gonna use these uh, these like uh, tiered up uh, cars to get to all three locations. The first location is gonna be right over there. It's gonna show you on the map in a second. Oh my god, look at this guy, dude. All right, here we go. Oh my god, yo. Okay, so. This is the first location right here. So we'll just hack the loudspeaker as you can see right there. So that's location number one. Location number two and three are going to be uh, very much separate. So we're going to go to this one right here. The second loudspeaker location is going to be right over here. Right on this location right here where the bombing is. So there should be a loudspeaker right around this area that we can hack. There it is right here. Outpost Raven. There we go. So let me get it good screenshot of that so that's loudspeaker number two and loudspeaker number three is gonna be all the way across the map so as you can see we're gonna make our way to command cavern right now it's gonna take a while so let's uh, edit our way out all right here we are at command cavern <laughs> i finally made it man this was such a long trip just gonna use this to get myself even closer whoa deployed all right, so this should be uh, the thing that we can, uh, like the IO loudspeaker. All right, there it is. So let me take a screenshot of that. And ha! And there it is, beautiful. That's three out of three completed. Nice. For this week's seven resistance quest, it says you have to establish a device uplink near Coney Crossroads or Greasy Grove. So we're gonna go to this location right here in Greasy Grove, right over here. And there should be a hologram as usual to stand on. And that should complete like uh, stage one and give us stage two, of course. All right, there's the hologram right underneath me. I think we have uh, somebody landing with me. All right, here we are. Beautiful. So that's uh, stage one. For stage two, it says we have to swap IO munitions with dummy shells. So we're going to go to the two locations at Tilted Towers right here. So the first location is going to be right over here. All right, so here we are at Tilted Towers, as you can see. And we're going to go to the first location. I think it's uh, right here. And oh, here we are. Swap munitions. So that's one. The second location is going to be right here. Oh my god, dude. I'm going to use the, the card. There it is. So this is location number two. Swap munitions. There it is, beautiful. That's the quest completed. For this week's seven quests, it says we have to establish device uplink near Camp Cuddle or Shifty Shaft. So we're gonna go to Camp Cuddle right here. We're gonna go on top of the mountain because it's safer there. A lot of people are currently doing these quests, so you gotta be really, really careful. Like, uh, some people actually like land near you, they grab a weapon, and they go to you and they kill you. Like, believe it or not, people actually do this, which really pisses me off, but yeah, you know, <laughs> it's Fortnite, so you can't really expect much. All right, so here's the hologram right here, right next to the house. So this will activate uh, stage two. Here we go. So for stage two, it says we have to destroy a white filing cabinet and collect the files. So we're going to go to either of these locations right here. We'll go to this one near the fortress because it is the closest one. So this is the exact location right here. All right, here we are at the fortress. 
Luckily, I found myself a route to go, so it was really useful to come here really fast. Okay, so let's go check out the uh, white filing cabinet thingy. I gotta be really careful because I don't want to be fighting the IO for no reason. Okay, here we are. So I see the cabinets. I think these are, these are it. Yeah. So these are the cabinets right here. Let me take a screenshot of this. And we're just gonna destroy them. There we go. And you get collect file. <laughs> All right. And there it is. It's beautiful. We got the files. For this week's seven resistance quests, since you have to establish device uplink near seven outposts two or seven outposts five, which are these outposts right here. So we're gonna go to this one right over here. I'm gonna use this uh, uh, siege cannon to make my way all the way over there. I just completed another quest, so I'm just gonna make my way through here. Here we are. Ever so slowly, we're gonna land here. And oh, there it is. Beautiful. So for stage two, it says we have to hack an IO server, uh, an IO server in Command Cavern, which is here. Okay, so we're gonna use the rifts right here to make our way to the, uh, to the command cavern. Okay, let me ping the exact location so we can know where we're gonna hack. So I suppose this is it right here. Mm, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be inside the uh, the uh, command cavern uh, by. Okay. Yep, it's gonna be inside. There it is, so it's gonna be at the basement. This is it, hack server, as you can see. And we're just gonna hack it. Ooh, this takes a while. You could get shot if you do this. Look at this and there it is, beautiful. Plans, Hacked, <laughs> as easy as that. 